I'd like to thank everybody for taking the time out to click on this video. If you haven't yet, please take a second to subscribe to the channel and share the videos with your friends. These videos take a lot of time and energy. If you would like to help the channel grow, please donate to my PayPal in the description box down below and a link to my Patreon where you can receive additional content will be down there as well. Now let's get on to your video. Hi my beautiful Capricorns, today I will be doing a love reading on the zodiac sign of Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. Cross watchers are welcome, not all messages are going to resonate, so if they don't resonate, please leave them behind for someone else. I'm going to start your reading off by pulling three cards for your energy, and then I'm going to use a different deck to pull three cards for their energy. Energy is interchangeable, so crisscross them if you need to. You may be on the other side. I'm just going to read this from the perspective of Capricorn. So I will be saying Capricorn on these three cards. Seven of Swords, a mental prison that Capricorn has made for themselves. This could be rumination and thinking about someone from the past. Three of Wands, this was waiting for your ships to come in, waiting to hear back from someone, and possibly waiting for someone to come back. Five of Cups, ooh, this is rough energy in this reading. This is crying over spilled milk, but I really hate that expression. I'm thinking, I use it more as just grieving the loss of someone that you cared a great deal about. Last thing I ever wanted to hear when I was grieving was that I was crying over spilled milk. <laughs> Nine of Cups. The person that you're thinking about has some sort of wish fulfillment. Six of Wands, the person that you're think thinking about is getting some sort of recognition, possibly standing out in a crowd, getting attention from others. The Four of Cups, this person is not willing to accept an offer. I'm going to pull the joint energy in between the two of you from another deck. And if this is the energy you're going through, I wish you the best, and I really hope you know you're stronger than this energy. Queen of Swords, nice, I like seeing that. That's cutting out people, places, and things that no longer serve you. The Sun, that is happiness, illumination, enlightenment. Great cards for the combined energy. And Eight of Pentacles. This is working on something brand new, building from the ground up. I'm going to pull a Fairy Oracle card for advice. Making music. This card often says to get your mind off of things. You might want to listen to some music around the house as well as um, you know, keep yourself busy. Don't leave yourself in this kind of energy too much. Take your mind off of things. Focus your energy into hobbies and other things. If you need to work through this, that's understandable. Everyone grieves in their own way. But try not to let it consume you. I'm going to pull you One Dreams of Gaia card. And then I'm going to go over your reading to see if I can get a little more in-depth into this situation. I'm already getting a pretty good idea of what happened here. Ooh, that's a good song, or a good one. Ace of Water, this is your heart being reignited, finding new love, and finding your joy once again. Okay, so Capricorn, what I'm feeling here is that you may have been involved with some sort of shady character who didn't treat you right and left you with a lot of grief and a lot of pain, and they left you waiting. 
is what it looks like. Waiting for them to come back. It also looks like this person kind of went off and did whatever made them happy. Possibly received a lot of recognition and attention from others. And wasn't really willing to accept an offer from you. But I'm seeing in the combined energy that you are getting past this. And this is something you're willing to cut out of your life. It seems like they've probably already cut you out of theirs. You might as well do the same. With the sun here, this will bring you in a lot of happiness just to let this person go and not focus your energy on them anymore. With the Eight of Pentacles here, this also looks like you're ready to start building over again. I know it's a lot. It feels like you have to start all over again when things like this happen. But take it from me, it's possible. You can definitely get through this and you can definitely... Um, you can definitely start your life over again. Um, I think it's a good idea to keep your mind off of this, and I find music is a very healing tool to listen to, so please take the time to distract yourself, listen to some music, find a hobby or a passion or something you're passionate about, and really devote your energy into that. It looks like you'll find new love too as well if you keep focusing on yourself i hope you have a good night capricorn thank you so much for watching please subscribe to my channel like and comment on the video and if you feel the energy is relevant to a friend please feel free to share it with them if you would like to purchase a reading or purchase either of the crystal beaded birds you see in this video my website will be in a link in the description box down below have a blessed day